G'day, I'm Mrs. Dow, and welcome to Mrs. Dow's Art Room. Here's today's lesson. Today we are celebrating International Dot Day. Based on the book The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, it's usually celebrated around the 15th-ish of September. The first thing you'll need to do is get a piece of paper, something circle to trace around, a pencil and some scissors. We'll trace as many circles as we can fit. And that way we've got a few practices. I'll speed this up, but you can pause it until you're finished. Make sure you hold the cup or jar or whatever you're tracing around quite steady and draw an even line resting your pencil around the item. Please check with a grown up before drawing around something special. Now for my junior students, we only need to complete three dots, so you can choose any three designs you like. In this video, you'll see a variety of ideas on how to decorate. Painting with textures on plastic sheet and water, using watercolour paints. If you don't have these, it's okay. You can use something like textures or pencils, a pen or anything that you have. You don't have to use lots of colours, you can just use one, but it's totally up to you the design style you choose. You could make a dot without drawing a dot. You could make a dot by decorating using lots of different lines and patterns and shapes. This is a mandala style. I've got a lot of designs in here for you to have a look through. And if you want to copy any of the ideas, then you can pause the video and have a go at the designs I've done. Otherwise, you can use anything from your own life as inspiration or things that you really love, including footy, netball, soccer, hockey, boxing, any sports you like, any other things that you like. Horse riding, you could do a big picture of a horse. It really is up to you how you decorate your dots today. But I'm just putting a few different examples in here for you to get an idea on all the different things that you could include in your dot. Make it special just to you and the things that you like. It doesn't have to be actual things. It can just be designs or colors. Here, I do a color wheel using the primary and secondary colours, going from light to dark as they get to the middle. Here's a spider web idea. You could also include a spider or some things that have been caught in the web. This dot includes a heap of different things that I like. A lot of them are art, some of them are food, some of them are sports. Again, this is really personal, but you can either create inside a dot or around it. That was my favorite. <laughs> this next one is words drawn around in a circle. So I've done happy, family, friends, the word kind, nature, fun, these are all words that make me happy or make me feel good. Smile. Nice. Help. Try. Yet. Art. Fresh air. Outdoors. Creativity. Sports. Food. Holidays. And love. You can include any words that you like and that make you happy. Another idea is to just colour. From the centre out using darker colors as you get closer to the outside. You could pick any range of colors you like. I would like you to cut all of your circles out that you decide to design at the end to practice some scissor cutting today too. 
This one's a series of lines that are coloured in. This one is lines and shapes with different colours in each segment. The next one is a row of coloured pencils in the colours of the rainbow. So again, you can pick any three designs you like, copying from the ones that I've des designed, or you can create your very own. As you can see, I've chose to use a lot of colour and most of mine are done using pen or pencil. But I do like to see them all cut out at the end nice and neatly. Adding colour can create an extra layer of design to your dots and make them look a bit more interesting. You might cho choose to put them somewhere special when you're finished, put them in your book, Put them on your door, on your wall if you're allowed to, or share them with somebody. I hope you have fun with today's lesson. Thank you so much, my amazing art students.